Okay, so Battlegrounds is in. Um, which means that we need to make a deck, is what it means. So, here is kind of my thought process at making decks. I'm going to be the first to say that I'm not the best player at all. Um, I am consistently, though, around the top 100, um, if not top 50, and I do have a smaller roster. So I kind of wanted to help address that issue So, or for other players. So here's the thought process that goes into my mind when I'm making a deck. Um, and first I'm going to make my deck, then I'm going to shrink my roster, so to speak, and then make it again. So the first thing is you want to take champions that are really, really strong, that do a lot of stuff, obviously. So that's someone like Hercules. He can kill lots of different things. He's actually really good and, and annoying and takes a lot of time to kill on defense. Apocalypse is more of a defense pick, um, but he also works against mutants. So he's really only good against mutants. A couple shrug champions, depending on the resistances to physical resistance, like Mole Man and um, mutants. But he can still kill Domino and Havoc and a couple other things. Ultron's really niche in terms of a lot of people don't have him sigged up, which is his really important thing. But he hits really, really hard, has um, a lot of utility in that he can regen a whole bunch of energy damage and also is immune to poison and bleed. And then finally, he can regen up at 25 and 50% and save you a lot of health that way. Um, really strong champion. Kitty Pride, just very versatile and a good defender. So what you're going to notice is a lot of my good attackers, Hercules, Ultron, and Kitty Pride, are every once in a while also decent defenders because the best attackers are ones that can do a ton of stuff and if push comes to shove can be annoying on defense depending on who your opponent has as an attacker. Nick Fury is just the most disgusting defender ever. I almost never use him on attack. He's sick 200. Doom, he's Dr. Doom. He's really good for attack and defense. I don't really want to explain Dr. Doom. Um, Diablo can nullify a ton of stuff. He benefits from Mystic Dispersion a lot against champions like Cersei. Um, well, against anybody, but especially against champions with tons of buffs. And he can actually kill someone like Thing just by parry heavying. Um, he also has that energy heal, so he can do stuff like Doctor Doom and just block specials all day. Not going to do Captain Marvel movie. Ghost is Ghost. She's a pure attacker. She's not going to do anything on defense. Diablo is also a pure attacker. Um, Claire is cons worth considering because she has a lot of utility, but realistically she can only hit in incinerate mode in order to win the fight for the most part. And so basically her utility is that she's incinerate immune and can nullify and has buff immunity. Those are her three immune those are her three um, uses, because other than that, she's not going to finish the fight, so I'm not going to put her in. Um, Massacre hits really, really hard, either with the special two all-in-one burst, or damage over time with the special one bleeds, and most importantly, the incinerates. So I put him in. Man-Thing is really good on defense. Even if they're poison immune, I have five out of five mystic dispersion, so he can get really annoying. And also, you can't crit against him, so obviously takes a while. Hitmonkey hits super, super hard once again. I can use Hitmonkey almost anywhere on attack as long as it's what I would call a basic matchup. So there's not nothing really crazy about it. But he's also a decent defender. So it's like a good mix. Um, same with CGR just on attack. So he can do any basic matchup, but really, really well. Null is like what's closer to a... He, he's almost the exact opposite of Hitmonkey where he's a crazy defender but some attack ma uh, matchups he does really well, well against. Like, a lot of tech champions uh, he does really well against. Nimrod, Warlock, a couple other people. Terax is just a nasty defender, but he's also good on attack. Um, Human Torch, nasty on just attack. Korra, good on defense. Crossbones, really, really good on attack, but only good against heroes. So very important to note. I-Hulk is what they call a stall champion, so he has a lot of health. Um, but, I mean... I don't want to do a Cell Champion. First off, that's boring. Second off, I want more utility in my deck. Spider Ham just hits really, really hard, and he does it with a lot, with a very few amount of hits. Because you just do Parry Medium Medium in Stun, or Parry Medium Light Medium. I throw Special One to pause the uh, Porker Poppers, and then you hit a, you hit really hard and don't have to like give them a lot of power, which is a huge um, utility. Tigress, Tigress, she does in crazy damage on pretty much any fight. Um, I'm not going to use Mr. Fantastic. He only hits hard when they have willpower. And also, it's parry heavy, which can get iffy if they have limber or if you can't parry them for some reason. Super Scroll is just a good defender, but he can kind of get uh, roasted by a lot of Mystic attackers. Honestly, half the time, you can use him just to lock up their Mystic attacker. Um, Bishop's really good against Purify Champions, so lots of skills. 
because he absolutely nukes with the special two, but he's also phenomenal on defense, and he gets banned a lot, and he uh, locks up their Warlock and their Kitty Pride and their other couple other champions, Archangel. So even if you don't even use Bishop, literally just threatening to use him can lock up their attackers. Um, Penny Parker, really good on defense and actually really good on offense as well. Nimrod, same thing, really, really good on offense, but pretty decent on defense too. He's good against regen, and I'm going to go through my deck and kind of say why I'm keeping certain people. This thing is really good on defense. He's going to be pretty much useless on offense. Moltman, really good on offense, decent on, on defense in terms of just build, ability to stall and other stuff. Archangel's Archangel. Maul's good just because you need a counter to him. Um, same with Havoc. Maul and Havoc, they require a pretty niche attacker. And then I'm thinking I'm going to do... Because I already had a set deck, and I'm for the most part... I want to say I'm actually just keeping the entire deck in terms of just accidentally just going through and just picking them. So here's the deck that I would personally pick with my roster. So let me go over the deck right here. So my attackers um, are going to be... Like my basic attackers are going to be Hercules, um, potentially Ultron if push comes to shove, Ghost, Massacre, Hitmonkey, CGR... Um, Crossbones if they're a hero, Spider-Ham, Tiger if it's the last matchup and I don't need to use her for a niche fight, Bishop if it's the last matchup and I can nuke, Archangel if they can bleed and poison and it's a scary fight or one that I know I'm going to win, Mole Man um, if they can bleed and if I don't need them on defense. Those are the ones that no matter what the matchup is, if the situation is right like I kind of just named, I'm going to use them on attack. Then there are people like Hercules who can do lots of annoying tech champions and can even nuke down Nick Fury, right? We have people like um, Ultron who can do, as I was saying, energy or bleed or poison matchups. Uh, or he can actually just actively bleed the opponent, uh, which is also helpful. Doom, who pretty much just for Cosmics, I would actually prefer to use him in Mystic Dispersion matchups and spam special two because I think that's faster. Although what if they can die in one Doom cycle, that's also pretty quick. Diablo is really good for any nullify matchup or any matchup where I'm scared about them gaining combat power rate because I can just parry heavy, spam special one, and pause it. And I found that to be really, really consistent, not RNG reliant, and they just hit really, really, or he just hits really, really hard. Um, CGR, obviously, they have to be debuffed and I have to be able to do my cycle and all that stuff. Torch, if they're a mystic, if they have energy damage, even if they don't, if I have to nuke a fight down, I can throw flame on and do it. Um... I wouldn't usually use Penny unless I know for a fact I can beat them with Penny. Um, or I would use Penny if they have countered my Penny Parker. So if they have, for example, CGR, and I'm like, okay, they're going to kill my CGR with Penny Parker, but I can also nuke down their whatever bland fight. Like, say they do some random fight. Like, I don't know. What's some random fight they would do? Not Nick Fury because mine's on Awaken, but if it's Nick Fury, then do that. Um... Some random fight. Even if it's something like... A lot of the random fights I'm looking at are cosmic attackers. Even if it's something like APOC, um, which is not ideal because of, you know, the incinerate. But just trying to just trying to nuke something down with Penny always works. Um, Nimrod for any mutants, regen, or prowess matchups. Thing is a pretty pure defender. I've considered not putting Mojo in my deck, and there's exactly one reason why I put him on my deck. A, he's actually nasty on defense, and he locks up lots of anti-nullify, or, an or just science champs, pretty much, and Archangel. The other reason is he absolutely massacres lots of cosmic champions. So someone like Cersei, if you use Mojo, is just dead. Like, insane. So Mojo is like a niche buff counter, but he's also a good defender, and at the very least will kind of like restrict their attacking options for other fights. Havoc is a good threat, like you can pull him early or late and either use him or just force them to pick somebody who they wouldn't normally pick. Um, like, I don't have a lot of defenders here who can be Warlocked reliably in terms of, like, him, him being a good option, and that's literally just probably Havoc and Bishop. Um, so if I pick Havoc and then I have to pick Warlock and just kind of let him sit, that's a little unfortunate. I was a little bit um, on and off about Magneto, but I ended up picking him just because he hits so hard and he's pretty safe. He's really good against a lot of tricky mutants. So, so that's how I would do it, and honestly, a lot of these champions I just got. Kitty Pride, I just got, right? Um, I just ranked up Massacre. I just ranked up Super Scroll. I just ranked up Nimrod. And so I'm going to take those people out. Uh, I'll probably take out... I'll take out one more person, too. I'm going to take out Man Thing. So now I'm, I want to try to build a different deck because I know that some people don't have as large of a roster as I have. 
So I still have all these people. I'm going to take out Null too. He's a little bit niche. So where's my Null? Okay, so I'm going to... You don't have to be these exact champions. You have your basic attackers like Hercules, your strongest champions, your strong defenders like Nick Fury, your strong defender, and then you have... you. Usually you're going to have a couple defensive rank ups. So people like Terex and Korg, they're people I ranked up for Alliance more defense or Battlegrounds. Penny Parker is more for attack too. Um, even Ebony Maul is a five star. So you're going to have a couple rank three six stars that are really strong, um, that are unique and really good that you had to rank up for defense or that you wanted to rank up for fun that aren't necessarily like something that any everyday player would want to rank. Those go in your deck. And then you're going to have a couple five stars who are really good, but you don't want to rank a six stars or don't have a six stars like Maul. Or even have it because he's kind of like a five star. He's a six two, so put those in there too if they're really strong. So in this deck, which is a little bit of a my smaller deck, if you will, I'm bringing Claire because I want another nullifier and I want immunity. I have five out of five Miscus Persian should work on defense. Gilly ninety nine is a sneaker is a sneaky defense pick. There's no notes though actually, so I'm probably not going to put her. I'm not going to put Mordo even though he's a little bit more mainstream. Um, I'll put I Hulk. You can use I Hulk or King Groot as like a stall champion. Works really well. Um, I'm going to put Falcon because he hits really hard and he locks down and shuts a lot of things down. Guardian with the special one's really good. Um, Omega Red's really, really good because it's constant damage. He cannot be shrugged. I almost put Omega uh, Red in my main deck. He hits so hard. And someone like Void's phenomenal in defense and offense because he doesn't take a lot of his, his um, debuffs proc immediately, right? Um, and then other options that I would consider putting in is I really like Hyperion. I almost put him in my main deck too. So maybe we'll pretend that I don't have Crossbones and I'll put in Hyperion. Because if it's late game and they don't have a good Mystic Attacker, bam, Hyperion. Or say you don't have an answer to Doom, all you do is just put Hyperion in your defense and they'll save Doom. Very simple. For the most part. For the most part. Um, if Another good option is Stark Spidey. He hits super, super hard, so... Maybe I'll swap out my Ultron. Maybe someone doesn't have Ultron, we can put in Stark Spidey. Um, someone like Shang-Chi is really, really good because he shuts down uh, Unstoppable with Slow and Evade with Slow. And then on top of that, he also... His stun isn't affected by Limber. Um, his medium-ending stun. So even if they have max Limber, you can still do your cycles, which is really, really helpful. So I don't have Korg anymore or Terax. I'm going to have Shang-Chi. And then maybe someone like Longshot, who's Mystic and he's... A, a good defender and a good attacker and he's really quick so so basically what you want to do is you want to go through you want to have at least two three or four people who can kill anything right they that's not right they can kill anything that's not a super niche matchup then you want to have at least one or two mystic nullifiers one or two people to deal with like those annoying techs like penny parker um a couple apoc counters like i can use ghost or tiger or hercules guardian um a couple thing counters, so that's Tigra, Hitmonkey, um, Crossbones, I don't have my deck right now, Falcon, Diablo. A couple people who can shrug debuffs, like Omega Red, an Archangel, potentially Ghost, uh, maybe Apocalypse, depending on the matchup. Uh, Torch, if push comes to shove. A couple Mystics, right, like Archangel, or Spider-Ham, or Torch, right? So you want to build a basic deck with a whole bunch of really good attackers and a whole bunch of really good defenders, and then you want to throw in, like, about two of each for a lot of the really niche um, people. And then you're going to... It's not as simple as just building a deck and going, because you're going to see your deck and be like, I don't have a domino counter, which, speaking of, I don't really think I have a domino counter. Um, you could use Guardian, you can use Apocalypse. If you have a big-ass Apocalypse, you can just use Apocalypse and nuke her down. If I'm really weird, I can use Tiger or Mega Red. Um, I could probably use Starkey if I wanted to. Uh, long shots also immune to it. So if I wanted to, I could use long shot parry heavy special too. So maybe she's not a weakness. Um, but you, you're going to go through and you're going to get rolled by a defender, and it's okay because you're not supposed to win every matchup, even if you have the perfect deck. But you want to go in and see who you cannot beat, and also see who you're never picking. See who, even though you're not banned, you see them every other game, and you never pick them for any reason. And there's going to be two or three people. In my deck, there's going to be three or four people. There's going to be people who you don't use, and there's going to be people who you need, and you're going to see that very quickly. So this is how I would build the base deck, and then going from there, I would expect to swap out two or three people. The main thing is don't fall in love with the champion being in your deck. Don't fall in love with the fact that late game I can pick Hyperion, and it's going to kill somebody. If it's not working, if I never pick Hyperion, I never pick Hyperion, and he does not need to be in my deck. Very simple, right? So... Take this knowledge to make a base deck and then adapt it to how 
how you see. Like, if you're seeing that you're losing to a certain champion, bring in a counter. Most important thing, if you're never using a champion, even if it's a bet, like, even, for example, Man-Thing, there's actually a decent chance I swap out Man-Thing. For some reason, no one ever seems to ever have a problem with Man-Thing. They always have some sort of nullify counter or something. There's a chance I swap out Man-Thing, a reasonably decent chance, because even though he's this amazing defender who I ranked up, partially for Battlegrounds, at least that was one of my rationalizations, if they're not good, they're not good, you know? So if they're not working, they're not working, and that's okay. It's okay to swap champions out even if they're really good because really good and someone you use is not always the same thing. So as I've been talking, I've been kind of resetting my deck. Um, I am missing one person, but I'm going to put them in really quick. I was debating having Mojo. I think it's Magneto that I'm missing. So we'll see if I like my Magneto, and if I don't, I'll put somebody else in because I also just don't find myself picking Magneto that often. So if you never pick him... Either A, start picking him or her, or B, just swap them out. So it's important to, to modify our deck like that. But this is currently my deck. Um, feel free to snipe it and be annoying. You're going to see it eventually anyway if you play me. Um, but this is, I think, a pretty solid deck. I'm going to be modifying a little bit. But that's kind of my thought process as to how I would make a deck from scratch. Uh, and with a, with a moderate, with a, with a high roster, but not one that can rank up any champion to rank three. So that's how I would build the deck. That's how I'd push Battlegrounds, and I hope that I and, and you have a really, really good time in Battlegrounds because it's a lot more fun. Speaking of, just let me just see if there's a store. I don't know if there is a store. There is a store. Okay, fun surprise. I think it's like the same store. <laughs> but um, off topic, but yeah. So that's how I would build a deck. Uh, this, is, this is my deck. I try to have at least four, five, six, seven really hard defenders. Um, four or so just basic attackers and then a bunch of people who can deal with a bunch of different matchups and a bunch of people who can do both defense and offense like Penny and Bishop and um, even Terex to an extent, Null, uh, Hercules, Kitty Pride, Nick Fury, Doom. So a lot of people who can do both. It doesn't matter if they're equal. You just want someone who hits really hard and is good on defense, someone who's really good on defense and hits kind of hard and, and kind of go from there. But that's how I build a Battleground deck. Thank you for watching.